Dear colleagues, this eye of a 82-year-old gentleman is having grade 3 cataract with 3.5 mm pupil. And there is a fibrotic band at the pupillary border from 6 o'clock to 12 o'clock. How to do this case? I have a dilemma whether to use BHEX pupil expander or iris hooks. I didn't have two Kuglin hooks for controlled stressing of the pupil. Then I thought of an idea of cutting the fibrotic band at two points with a 23 gauze vitreous scissors and then use the BHEX pupil expander. Here it is. I've taken up this case. Two incisions have been made, the main incision and on side port. Here goes the tripan blue dye to stain the anterior capsule. Now this is a bit of adrenaline to see if the people dilates a bit. But in vain, it didn't dilate at all with adrenaline. And then I'm washing the vitreous, uh, washing the tripan blue dye with BSS. And now I'm going to use viscoelastic substance, HPMC, and then use the vitreous scissors. One side port has been made, another side port is to be made on the right side because I have to manipulate the B hex hexagonal device. So this is a side port and this is the left eye of the patient. The eye is deep seated and the patient has a protruding nose and I don't know how to tuck the flanges uh, on the left side. Here goes the vitreous scissor. I'm just cutting the band at two points and I'm not cutting the sphincter, just the band at two points at 8 o'clock and at 9.30 o'clock. At two points I have cut the fibrous band. That's it. And now I'm sure I can apply the people expansion device. Now I have asked for the device and this is the B hex people expansion device in a nice B hex housing and this is the recommended 23 gauze forceps. One must take the device totally in the antechamber then tuck one flange. Here the leading flange has been tucked at on go and now I'm trying to tuck the left flange but the nose was obstructing and I could not reach the flange. So, I have thought of an idea, but I'm going to do that later. I'm tucking the flange, which is at 9 o'clock. After 2-3 attempts, I could tuck the flange perfectly. And now, how to tuck this flange? Since the patient has a protruding nose and the flange is at 1 o'clock, I asked for the stab knife and I'm making a stab incision at 7 o'clock so that I can avoid the nose and I can go from diagonally opposite so very small stab incision here at 7 o'clock 
And now I use the forceps. Easily I can reach there. I hold the middle hole and very nicely I could tuck this flange. And now the people takes hexagonal shape. Beautiful. That's it. I can say that the case is done because the other steps I can handle very easily now. Here goes the rexis. I make a cut on the anterior capsule with a 26 gauge bent needle. Now I take the uterata forceps, go along the border of this 5.5 millimeter pupil, hexagonal pupil, and do a perfect rexis. That's it. Now, hydro dissection. The position of iris is at the original place. So there is no hindrance at any step for hydro dissection, for introducing the FECO teeth. There is no hindrance at any step of surgery. Had I used iris hooks, the iris would have been pulled anteriorly and I had to take a lot of precautions at every step not to injure the iris. Here the lens is rotating nicely and now is the time to introduce the tip of the FACO handpiece. The machine being used is Oatly Cataryx 3. I am in FACO 2 mode where the vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury and flow rate is 45 ml per minute. And in this case, since this is a grade 3 plus cataract, the power has been set at 70%. Ultrasonic energy has been set at 70 percent and this is a brittle nucleus chopping is becoming very easy so I chop the nucleus into several fragments and after chopping it into several fragments I draw each fragment at the center of the anterior chamber and emulsify it. Always pull the pieces at the center and emulsify at the center because at the center of the antechamber the antechamber depth is maximum and the posterior capsule is also at the farthest distance. So this is the last portion of the nucleus. That's it. And now, epinucleus also has come off. Little bit of cortical matter is left. Inject a bit of visco again. Hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose 2%. And now, this is the bimanual irrigation aspiration. See, there is no hindrance in using the bimanual by the BHEX. So, the cortex has come up. Only a little bit of cortex is there at around 3 o'clock. I'm just, just irrigating it first. And then, I'm going to aspirate these loose fibers. 
That's it. The cortical cleanup has been done. Now viscoelastic substance is injected and in this case I have selected Envista from Bosch and Long. No financial interest just to give you an idea of what the lens is. This is Bosch and Long from Envista and it opens very very slowly. Good lens. I have not come across glistening till now with this lens. And now and now I'm going to remove the VHEX. Just untuck all the flanges and pull out the BX. Marvelous. It comes off so easily. This device doesn't require any injector system and that makes its use so simple. Now the viscoelastic substance is being removed from entry chamber as well as from the capsular bag. Using bimanual irrigation aspiration. So if you don't have two Kuglen hooks, you can just cut the fibrous band at two points or three points with a vitreous 23 gauze scissors and you can easily apply the BHEX. That's it. The case is done. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in managing such cases.